right, what's going on, guys? Just doing a little maintenance on a Harley. Shot it red. Uh, so we're doing brakes. I made a TikTok out the other side, this side. Gonna be the video. So what you're gonna need is a five millimeter hex. That's gonna remove the bolt that holds the brake pads in. You're going to need a 10 millimeter uh, 10 point socket. That's the part number. It's gotta have all the little divots. You can risk messing the bolt out, stripping it. So first, you'll remove this cover over the back of the caliper with a screwdriver, as you see here. From there, loosen the two bolts. Up to you if you want to to kind of loosen that uh, screw that holds in the pads or not. Uh, it's also gonna be held in with a clip, which you can also pry out with a screwdriver. It's gonna look like this. Uh, you can also, it's recommended from Harley Davidson to replace it. Uh, sold by Drag Specialties. There's a part number. Comes with a clip and a bolt. So, like I said, it's recommended from Harley to do that every time. Why not? Uh, unless you're just in a bind. Uh, so this is what the old pads look like. Uh, these pads is already thinning out the rip. As you can see, one side is greatly thinner than the other. And these both came off this left-hand side. So it was down there down to the bristle so we're replacing it with these ebc uh double h centered uh fa 409 hh is part number and brand new out of the box they're gonna look like this or out the package it's gonna look like that so uh, just like when you change the brakes on anything else, you want to make sure that you push push your caliper back in. You can also use a screwdriver to do that. Uh, take out the old path, put in the new ones. Uh, word of advice when you do do that. I'm going to try to do this with two hands. Or correct, so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Okay, maybe not. All right, so you're gonna take your new pads, slide it down off of there like that, and like that. Once you get them off in there, there is a little spring down in there, so you're gonna wanna apply a little bit of pressure as you're sliding the new pin into the brakes. So, got a new pin here. So I'll go in through this hole right here. So like I said, apply just a little bit of pressure to make sure everything gonna line up the way this is gonna need to with your finger like I'm pressing there and then start your bolt. Like that. And then that's pretty much it, man. All right. So after you get everything kind of put back together as far as the bolts, got our new clip in there. Like that. You're gonna come over here to these bolts. You're gonna be at 38 foot pounds.
That's it. Let me see you hit that 38. That's it. Once it click, don't keep going. Over tighten, mess around, break the bolt. Bad day for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Put your cover back on. You might want to spray it off some. That thing is filthy. So yeah, after that, wipe that down, put that back on, make sure you pump your brakes before you uh, pump your brakes before you get ready to move the bike, take it out, test ride it, and uh, yeah, go from there. I am not a Harley tech, I am simply a DIY guy, doing what I gotta do to make it happen, so don't take my advice for it. Take my word with a grain of salt.